Decades old research to make clouds rain more might not be as effective as originally thought, according to a recent government report. There's peer reviewed literature that is available that kind of has shown that cloud seeding can work. Okay, now the ability of it to always work, that's another question. We spoke with U of A professor of atmospheric science, Armin Sarushian, on the recent U.S. Government Accountability Office report that found the effectiveness of cloud seeding to be very limited and might not be the prime solution for areas experiencing drought. Places that have a lot of stress in terms of water resources need to <laughs> have an open mind. According to the report, cloud seeding can produce an extra 10 to 20 percent rainfall. However, one of the main problems they found is those numbers are just estimates. There isn't a way to see if it's actually that effective, something Sarushian says was not surprising. You see, in nature, no two clouds are the same, which is the problem because you need one cloud that's seeded and an identical cloud that's not, and then compare the rainfall just to see if it's effective. Despite the recent report showing it may not be as effective as once thought, Professor Sarushian says cloud seeding is still worth researching. I don't think it's a solution to the problem, but it's good to know that there is this mechanism that exists that can maybe help a little. Now, how much that little is, that's hard to quantify. While cloud seeding is not being done in Arizona, it is happening in all of the neighboring states. But right now, SRP is currently looking to see if it is viable in the White Mountains in eastern Arizona. And the Central Arizona Project invested more than $600,000 in weather modification research last year, but with no plans to do cloud seeding here in Arizona.